French up against your old team on Wednesday. What do you guys have to do to keep this going? Especially considering the buzzer beater they beat you guys on in LA. I mean, you know, you're saying Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Defensive rebound. Get those guys off the off the off the block, off their spots. And trap Kobe as much as possible. How do you feel about this team in the second half of the season? I mean, we got a chance to win the championship. A chance to be a championship contender. And as, as a team, I saw you, that's, that's where, where you want to be. I know you've said in the past that you haven't looked at what the Lakers are doing or anything. We're coming in here Wednesday night. Have not been a very good road team. Kobe the other night says, hey, tells the management, kind of, hey, decide what you're going to do with Powell. Let's move on. Surprised by anything that's going on there? Have you, have you looked at them at all? Not at all. I don't pay much attention. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I mean, you know what I mean? I speak to these. I speak to my guys. I speak to guys I was friends with. You know what I mean? But I'm in the NBA, so therefore I watch games totally different from how you probably watch games. What you're looking for, the story that's what's inside the game. I don't really look for it. You know what I mean? I enjoy watching college. So. The guys that you that you talk to, Kobe, you talk to these, you know, mm -hmm. frequent basis. Or? Last night. Yeah. Well, how do you gauge how he's feeling right now about their situation? He don't. You know, Kobe, all he wants to do is win. So it's like Dirk, Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, those guys. They all think on the same mindset. Whatever it takes to win. You get the sense that he feels like he's got the team to win. Um, I think so. I think Kobe feels confident. Whoever he got. Out. Thank you.